Well, the cold will get our teeth chattering too, Keith. That, uh, that <laughs> yeah. might affect it as well. Yeah, I was just telling Pat I have one of those mouth guards. Uh, I got it like in college, and I realized I, I better get married very quickly after that <laughs> yeah. because you don't want to meet someone. And you have to put it in. And oh, yeah. you and it really upsets the social agenda, it doesn't does. it? Oh, Wait for them to fall asleep and then take it out before they get up. I don't know. But anyways, it works. So it's that. It's very cold right now. Temperatures in the 20s. You know, we, we've been, we had that one week that was way above average. Otherwise, we've been just kind of teetering around average for the most part. This is the first really cold shot we've had in a bit. Temperatures in the 20s now on the way down in some areas to the single digits. Nine in Freiburg, nine in Berlin, and a lot of us in the low teens by early tomorrow morning. So yeah, going to be very, very chilly. It's something that eventually we won't think much of, of course, but it is uh, some of the coldest air of the season. A couple of snow showers out there over Aroostook County. Otherwise, things have quieted down. We had the lake effect snow machine going on across the Great Lakes. This is actually kind of almost peak time for lake effect snow there because the water temperature relatively warm and the cold air starts to stream over the top of it. Won't be an issue for us though. Clouds do increase by later on tonight and by tomorrow it's a cloudy day. This is actually the warm front working its way through. It's going to be right about here around 9 a.m. Clouds come with it, an isolated flurry as well. Temperatures warm tomorrow, but it's kind of a low bar. We only end up around 40 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. But notice tomorrow night, temperatures actually stay warm and get warmer overnight. So by Friday morning, we're in the mid 40s along the coastline on the way into the mid 50s on Friday afternoon. And some of us, I think, will be in the upper 50s on Friday afternoon. So that will be the warmest part really of the next seven days probably. And then Saturday is a decent day too. Make sure sun and clouds temperatures around 50 degrees. I think that's the better of the two weekend days. Sunday is bright enough, but there's going to be a reinforcing shot of cooler air that comes through on Saturday night. So I think Sunday's only around 40, 41 for a high temperature. So that's why I like Saturday better. All right, looking ahead here, our next system comes in on Monday. That's rain showers turning to a more steady rain on Monday night. We get a break in between, and Thanksgiving is still kind of up for grabs a bit. We want to get this storm through either faster or a lot slower because at this time there'll be some rain and snow that comes in on Wednesday night into early Thursday, and it would be out of here in time for Thursday afternoon, but I'd like to get it through a little quicker, so we'll keep an eye on that. As we get a little bit closer, we'll be in the crystal ball seven day by tomorrow morning, I suppose. That rain on Monday will be maybe heavy briefly Monday night, and then it's breezy on Tuesday on the back side of it. Wednesday looks like clouds increase. Probably of the possible solutions, not that we have any say whatsoever, guys. It'd be better for the storm to be slower because we'd build a little warmth ahead of it. But um, at this point, we'd rather just not have it during Thanksgiving. That yeah. would be... Todd Gutner says we might uh, break some records in the morning with some single digit temperatures. You think he's right? Yeah, you know, he has his moments. So, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, these temperatures, although we remember them, they're usually more like late November, early December. Wow. All right. Thank you, Keith.